I'm Michelle Salvagno with KRCT welcoming you to the 12th annual tradition of Dia de los Muertos being held here at San Luis Rey, also known as King of the Missions in Oceanside. What better location to honor our blessed souls than the sacred grounds of San Luis Rey, the largest of California's 21 missions. Dia de los Muertos is a 12-year uh, event. It started in Main Street Oceanside downtown. We took over the event four years ago when they lost some funding, and it was just a perfect cultural and spiritual event, uh, event to have here at the mission, and we're so happy it's thriving. We've kept the traditions that were started at Main Street Oceanside. Every year the families build altars with ofrendas to their loved ones. We, this year we have about 24 altars. Uh, we have a live music and dancing all day at the main stage. We have children areas. We have face painting for adults and children. We have a Katrina contest for adults, teenagers, and kids. We did that for the first time this year. And we just have wonderful food, a great uh, um, variety of retail vendors as well. Anyone in the Oceanside area, North County, we have people from Riverside. Uh, some people even from Hollywood came down to build an altar. There is no charge to build an altar. And Milano and company are generously donate thousands of marigolds every year to help build the altars. And we're so grateful for that. <laughs> in our, our state with our altars, but in, mom, in memory of our families, like fathers, grandmas, our loved ones. We get together with our uh, friends. We work together like a team, like a community. organization Tecol Max Tecol Kenya they help people that have passed away and go ahead and go and send them back and bury them and give them the proper honor and respect our community has a hard time raising money in order to send uh, the people that are especially our loved ones that die in this house like in the United States uh, most of the families don't have insurance uh, the capital to either bury their loved ones here or send them back to the origin in Mexico. That's why we started the organization. Back in 2003, uh, four people from our community died and we had raised more than $28,000 in order to send them back and that's how everything started. Mm -hmm. 